so what's up everybody i hope everybody is doing well um, so for today's video i wanted to get into three quick tips for better street photography so let's jump in so my first tip is to be calm and casual um, too often on the street i see photographers that are moving like real life ninjas and they're drawing way too much attention to themselves they look nervous they look like they're doing something wrong and you know when you do that people around you start to notice and they start to tense up and they start thinking something is wrong and what's up with this guy why is he pointing this camera at me and they get uncomfortable you know that's the opposite of what you want to do when you're on the street you want to blend in and the way to do that is just to be like everyone else like you're going about your day and keep it casual keep it cool don't draw attention to yourself mind your body language and as long as you do it in a respectful and mindful way street photography is fine so tip number two is to use a small camera again often in the streets i see a lot of street photographers with these massive um, cameras walking around and they think that you know the bigger the camera the longer the lens the better the photos they're gonna get you know that might be the case in other genres of photography like landscape and things like that but with street where the the main subject is usually strangers in public and people usually a smaller camera with a smaller lens that's more discreet it's more comfortable to carry and that's less intimidating for your subjects um, is the way to go you know check out the fujis check out the ricos check out some of the smaller sony's i know canon and nikon have a few cameras as well and generally speaking the the smaller the camera setup that you have the closer you can get to your subjects which typically for street photography makes for better photos because there's more of a connection with the viewer and the subject in terms of um, empathy and things like that so with your setup the smaller the better the less complicated the better have that thing in your pocket and take it out when you need to shoot get the shot and keep it moving So my third tip for the day for better street photography is to not be afraid of confrontation. This is something else I notice a lot of photographers being mindful of and it's a tough one um, with street photography because you are shooting strangers in public and I know that can be an intimidating thing for a lot of photographers. My advice is to be of the mindset that you know you're not doing anything wrong you're a photographer, you have your purpose, whatever that might be. Maybe that's documenting the streets, documenting a certain time, a neighborhood, um, community, a group of people, an individual. Keep that purpose in mind and remember you have positive intentions. And you know, it's actually really rare that you will get into a confrontation. I've been shooting for many, many years in different cities around the world. And most of the time, I'm casual enough and discreet enough, my camera setup is discreet enough that uh, most people don't pay much attention to me. But the odd time when someone does ask you what you're doing, just have you know your intention in mind and explain to them in a calm way and in a transparent way why you're taking a picture of them. And most of the time if you're friendly and you're upfront, people will be cool and some of them might even be flattered, they might want spontaneous portrait and you might exchange information in the end and make a new connection you know which is always great oh i'm a street photographer oh, okay, i shoot cool. people in the community and the culture and around the city okay, nice. promote the city and the people and stuff like that cool. I love it. something else that i find works really well is you shoot them a compliment so you know you say oh, i like your smile i like your sunglasses your hat your shirt your jacket I like the way you're carrying yourself, it's a really cool bag, um, whatever it might be. And I find most of the time people open up, they loosen up, and they're much more willing to engage in a conversation. 
and end off on a positive uh, note. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and you picked up uh, a tip or two. And I think I'll probably do a series of uh, tip videos because I get so many questions about my approach to street photography. And I think this is a great place to share some of that. So I hope you guys are doing well again and um, I'll see you on the streets. Okay.